well, I guess first of all, just well, I'm wondering how, how you prepare maybe differently, um, if at all, for what's coming up, not only for this weekend, but you've been on the road a couple times before being at home. Now you're going on the road for two weeks in a row. I mean, it's kind of a grind road-wise second half of the season. What, do you do anything different to prepare guys for that? Well, you, you, we'll go right back to leaning on our, our veterans, guys that have been in both buildings, uh, both at Ferris State and uh, Bowling Green. Um, but for us, the, the group's done a really good job at just kind of focusing on what today brings. And, you know, we've moved around. Uh, when we were going out to Northern and then playing at the Mariucci Classic, we were able to get in town and, and go skate on an Olympic sheet. Uh, this week we had an opportunity to come over and skate at ASA uh, so that we could get used to the smaller ice sheet, the smaller area, which you're going to see in both buildings. So uh, as far as prep, we can do that. We're fortunate with that. Uh, and then just personnel-wise, we're relying upon our leadership group, uh, their experiences of what they've had in those buildings so that uh, we can you know, get in the right spot on the rink and then have the right mentality as a group. Do you see any difference with your team the first half of the season? whether you were home or on the road, um, played pretty well in both, um, in both situations. I've been fortunate to have that group, the leadership group, handle their business. And, and their mentality hasn't really changed. It's just like I said, kind of what's going to go on today. And um, we're going to rely upon that through this road trip. Um, as far as Ferris goes, I'm the first time seeing them this year. And, and uh, what do you know about them right now? Well, first of all, I've had a tremendous amount of respect for Bob Daniels and how he does his business and how he prepares his team. And the one thing that I think comes off the sheet right away when you start looking at Ferris State and their numbers is their defensive core. Uh, again, they've got a, a potential all-league defenseman, uh, freshman, uh, and I think four of their top five scorers are defensemen. So they like to generate a lot of their offense from the blue line. They play. They might not be six three, but they play six three. Uh, the, their mentality is is they're going to take away all time and space on you and try and make you turn pucks over, create their offense, make mistakes. And um, so we're going to go into a building that things happen really fast. And so our 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 challenge is making sure that we react in an appropriate way. Have you had a, another place where that's kind of been the situation as far as things happening fast like that this year. And not that come to mind right away. Um, it, not it, it, that arena is unique. Uh, the facility is unique. The the ceilings low. The fans are on top of you. The dog pounds right behind your goaltender. Uh, it's an environment that things happen in a hurry, and you better be able to adjust, or you're going to be playing from behind, and you don't want to be playing from behind in that building. You mentioned their freshmen. Your freshmen have been um, pretty solid again. Um, still kind of going with the same. Line up with uh, Souter on the, with the top group and, and Smith on the second group, and how they've been doing um, this week. You know what? They've had a good string here from break on. I mean, obviously, our entire team took Saturday off against St. Cloud, including the coaching staff, and so that didn't work very well for us. We got back on it on Sunday, and those guys have done a really good job at following the lead from our group up top. and. You know, for freshmen, they fit in very well, both on the rink, in the locker room. Uh, our grades came out. The guys have done a fantastic job in the classroom. So they're minding their P's and Q's. We're excited about this road trip. Hey, so dating back to when um, the new incarnation, the WCHA, broke in the rivalry that was instantaneous with Ferris State, does that still remain with the Mavericks and the Bulldogs, you think? Yeah, it does. You know, we've got, when we go up to our lounge over at the Civic Center, uh, and the, the guys are up there, there's there's a couple of photos of Ted Scrap, and Teddy Bluger Scrap, uh, Scrap and Mott. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's when you, when you have something like that, I think when they came in, they were number one in the country, um, and uh, we had a good weekend against them. I'm sure they're trying to turn the tides right now against us. So, uh, yeah, anytime you, you face a team in, in league play and then at the appropriate times, we've played them in very important games where they've beaten us and won a championship, and we've done the same. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd consider it rivalry. 
Uh, speaking about that leadership crew, uh, two points from uh, Mark on Friday and two from Nikki on Saturday. How important is it for them to, you know, be peaking right now? And how much do you lean on them in these tough road games um, for the for the younger guys to look up to them? Well, I think it's one those guys. It was great to see them have the weekend that they've had, but they've put a lot of work into it. Um, really, our, our our group, those two, Josh French, uh, Parker Toomey, uh, Connor Mackey, Ian Shy, the, the the older guys have really. It's been interesting since what happened against St. Cloud and how they've handled it. They've gone back to work. They've reset. Uh, you get into your senior year and you get to the second half and all of a sudden you start thinking, wow, this is the three and a half years have gone by fast. How fast is the last three and a half months going to go? And so I think they're enjoying it right now, but they're, they're pouring a lot into it every day as far as their work, their preparation. And to have them have the weekend that they had last weekend allowed us to get out of the weekend with a sweep. And we're going to need them again to provide those examples throughout this weekend if we're going to have any success on the road.